Okay, I'm actually enjoying my time with the iPod Touch 7th generation, but the question is really who should buy one of these things, especially in 2022, and they're being discontinued. So let's talk about who I think should own an iPod Touch. So the first group of people here, I think, is the folks who want to get into the Apple ecosystem for cheap. This is by far the cheapest way to get into an iOS device, of course, because, well, who wants to spend 700 800 maybe even over $1,000 on an iPhone or even 300 something on an iPad? But yeah, you can get into one of these for about $200, maybe a little bit cheaper than that if you find them on sale, although they're probably uh, going up in price a little bit now. But yeah, uh, this is great for kids especially. You know, you can get them this device and you don't have to buy them a phone. And they can play all their games, all their music, all that kind of stuff. And maybe, you know, somebody who is primary like an Android or a Windows user and they might need iOS for just a few things and they can uh, definitely buy one of these and use it for that as well. The second reason here is for jailbreaks and developers. Now jailbreaking of course isn't that common anymore but I can definitely see the you know having a side device being a lot more smart than using your main primary device as a jailbreaking device. But really, besides jailbreaking, I feel like this is a great developer tool, right? Because developers, again, are, you don't wanna have your main device as your testing device. So you can pick up an iPod Touch for the cheap, right? Like 200 bucks, and you can use it as a testing device. I mean, it has the latest version of iOS 15. It has the A10 Infusion chip, which is the same one in the iPhone 7, which is relatively new. And yeah, it can be your testing device. You could use this for uh, iOS betas, so you don't have to install them on your main device. But yeah, this could be a good little tester device. And then the third and final one, I think, is for folks who are doing special cases, right? So what I mean by that is, let's say, music, for example. Now, I know not many people nowadays are needing one device specifically dedicated to music, but let's think about it. What if you have a massive iTunes library and you need somewhere to store it? Well, you could pick up an iPod Touch and you could use it primarily for music like an iPod was always intended to be. But yeah, so those are my three uh, reasons here, the groups I feel like who would buy an iPod Touch and I guess you could probably add a fourth group, the people who just want one because they're being discontinued. And yeah, because I'm definitely that group. I have no reason to have this other than I just wanted it for the collection. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today with this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.